this country is a land of dreams. It can be a hard place. A cruel place. But it's where I work. And I dream of a better life for my son. The film A Better Life focuses on an undocumented immigrant in Los Angeles searching for his stolen truck with his son. And now it's nominated for the National Film Registry. NBC News digital reporter Nicola Acevedo writing, it's just one of 25 Latino films the Congressional Hispanic Caucus wants to add to the registry to help fight Latino underrepresentation in Hollywood. And Nicole joins me live now. Uh, Nicole, if you would, tell us about a few of the films the Congressional Hispanic Caucus is nominating here. Yeah, I mean, A Better Life is just one of 25, like you said. But this really all started in January when Congressman Joaquin Castro, right before finishing his term as the chairman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, nominated the 1997 film Selena, which is based on the life and death mm. of the Tejano music star um, Selena Quintanilla. But now under a new leadership um, with Congressman Raul Ruiz, they're trying to take that a little bit further. So the Library of Congress every year on a given year nominates 25 films to be added to the National Film Registry. So they decided to nominate 25 Latino films to be added this year potentially. So far, we only have about six um, films that are focused on the experiences of Latinos in this country. So, you know, given that that we're almost 20 percent of the nation's population, there's some work to be done, some argue. Why and is some the of these Hispanic films yeah. prioritizing this issue? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I was going to say that, no, that the, the reason, um, you know, it's that that there's barely any any films. We have films like Frida, which stars um, Salma Hayek about the life and, and death also of, of the great Mexican artist um, Fila Gallo. And what you see in these 25 films is basically sort of like a repeat of a lot of, of these faces. You know, another film that's nominated is actually Spy Kids by Robert Rodriguez, uh, which is centered, um, it has Latino leads. Sama Hayek is also part of the Spy Kids franchise. It also helped catapult um, Latino actors like Danny Trejo into Hollywood. And we also have just family family um, films, just like um, Nothing Like the Holidays, which is about um, a Puerto Rican family in Chicago celebrating um, Christmas. Also, Tortilla Soup. In these films, you have people like Alfred Molina and Hector Elizondo and Gregory Nava, too, um, was a screenwriter in Frida. So I think that, that you know, to your question as to why these films, it's because um, a lot of times as we continue to talk about underrepresentation of Latino communities in media and in film, mm -hmm. we sometimes forget that, you know, some people have made strides in this industry that, that you know, we cannot forget about those contributions as we try to address that underrepresentation in media. Nicole, it was incredible to look at all those films as you described them for us. Some I have seen, some I have not. Uh, look forward to seeing all of them. Thank you so much for coming on to talk about such an important issue. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.